Hey guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. It is Wednesday, I think it's April 16th. It's like 5.30 in the afternoon. I don't think it's the 16th. 17th? Yeah. Sorry, 17th. It's April 17th. This one is home. We're gonna go to my parents' house tonight for dinner. This one smells nice. <laughs> We're going to my parents' house tonight for dinner because we're not going to see him for a while because we're Why? going away next week. Where are we going? We're going to. <laughs> Just kidding. Not going to tell you at the moment. But I'm really excited though because by the end of this vlog, you'll You're know gonna where we're going. You're going to tease I don't know. I think so. All right. When, when, when will they know? At the end of the vlog. The end of the vlog? By the time you're watching this, we'll be stepping foot on our first plane to our destination. And I can't even believe it's finally here. Mm -hmm. It's finally here. Sounds good. This week's going to be really cool because we're going to pack. We're going to get ready for what where we're going today i went shopping i bought a dress for our anniversary photo shoot i bought him new shoes because they were falling apart and just little things that we need for our trip i can wear the falling apart ones no i bought you new ones you don't even know my size i didn't actually let's go see that we gotta go see what size your shoes are because i'm pretty sure the ones that you have are size 10 and the one i bought you are nine and a half because that's what you said okay we're gonna get ready and go to my parents house but We'll take you along this week. It's gonna be better than last week. Okay, I bye. promise. Last week was awful. Wasn't last week awful? I, didn't I don't know. Well, I haven't watched it. You haven't it. watched it yet, but I didn't barely vlog, so I promise that this week's gonna be a lot better because we have a lot more to do this week. <laughs> Look at this plate. A burrito, mashed potatoes, and stuffing. Really? Yeah, it was almost Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, yes. My hands are slippery. <laughs> 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 I'll choose you. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Come on, everybody, sit up, grab your plates, whatever. Eat. Whatever. <laughs> Mom's gonna make them for you. Move your chair. Go He's see nervous. He's nervous. Come on. Yeah, everybody's watching me. He's way. gonna pull himself for it. He knows how to do that too. Come on. Come here, Riley. <laughs> Come on. Keep going. Where's Doggy? Where's Doggy? Come get Doggy. Come get Doggy. <laughs> Judy phone like 20 minutes later. Mom, smash. <laughs> Holy crap. Why? Oh, <laughs> Two phones, same oh, day. Boom, done. God. No, why'd you do that? That's awful. Bro. I love you, Dad. Come to give me a hug. Why? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we both have <laughs> Where are we going? Uh huh. Thousand dollars for the new phone? Oh. Uh huh? We're going to the dead phone. <gasps> Look, are we in your room? Whoa, Riley. <gasps> Mr. Potato Head? That's so cool. Mr. Potato Head. Back in. There we go. The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. Is all the time. One with a turtleneck. Wait, what's it? No. One with a something turtleneck. SpongeBob? Any SpongeBob fans out there? We made it home, obviously. Makeup has come off. We're gonna go to bed. What? See, I already told you this week's vlog was gonna be way better. So much better. Pretty good. I haven't seen last week. Oh, shh. I am a bad vlogger. I forgot to post that I posted a vlog. Actually, I'm not even sure if it's up. Anyways, we're gonna go to bed and dream about the fact that we're going to Morning, it's Thursday. Don't mind that sound in the background. It's the dishwasher going. Forgot to start it again last night. It is super late already. It's already 1030 and I've got all my morning chores and the usual stuff that I get done, done. But I didn't get to go for my walk this morning. I woke up around 7 and I had like a massive headache. So I went to the bathroom and just went back to bed. Woke up and I still kind of had a headache. I'm not going to go for my walk this morning. I am going to go this afternoon, hopefully before lunch, <laughs> just to get that in. I have to do it. It's a must. I also really want cereal, but we don't have any cereal. Hi, son. <laughs> Excuse me. This is my life. So I'm, I'm sure no one wants to see your butt. But I'm going to make probably some waffles, and then I'm going to head in the office and start some work because I have to do some financing and stuff that I didn't get to do yesterday. So it's Thursday. It's another work day. I'll take you along. Hopefully I remember to film something because work days are the hardest for me.
can't really take it anymore. I've had this headache since last night. My head feels like it's going to explode. It hurts so bad. Oh my gosh, do I feel hot? So as you can kind of see, well, it's focusing on the screen, but it rained, so I never got to go for my walk. Instead, I am going to show you a few wedding albums from two weddings I had last year. So usually it comes with this around it, but I've already looked at them, so I took it off. And this is what the album looks like. It is a leather bound album. It has their name on it and their date. So here's how it opens. Flap opens, and then we turn the page and it's just the white. This is called a lay flat album, so it's just gonna lay straight across. I'm obsessed. Telling you guys, you have to print your photos. Albums to me are one of my favorite ways because it's literally telling your story. Look at this spread. Oh my god. Definitely one of my favorite weddings from the season last year. This right here is my favorite. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Let me just get in in there. The paper is like a mat. This is what the center bind looks like. Oh my gosh, this is such a good layout. The end. All right, after I spent way too much time putting that on Instagram, this is the second album. I like this one for the case. I like them both, but this one, the font on the front, they did a little smaller than the other one. I'll show you the comparison. I'm not sure why, but let me show you. This is the smaller one, which I really like. And then over here, they did this one a little bigger. And I'm not entirely sure why, but I like this one a little better. Okay, so this album is the second one. It's the same exact thing, just different wedding inside. Open the flap up. Open the first page. All right, here we go. This wedding was during a nor'easter in October, so everything was done inside, unfortunately, but I think it came out really well. Their church ceremony was absolutely beautiful. Bam! First kiss, full page, obsessed. Family photos inside. Then we found a library. I don't think we were supposed to go in there, but we did, and they let us take some photos. This one's giving me all like the Vanity Fair vibes. Look at this. Oh gosh, yeah, that's so good. They killed it. Oh, king and queen. They just had a second wedding in India. Look at these colors of the reception. Ends like this. Oh, let me get that glare off of it for ya. Oh my gosh. Perfection. If you ask me, printing your photos is extremely important, and I understand there's not wall space for all of it, which is why a photo album is probably my favorite way to print your photos, because it comes in a little book form. Put it on your shelf, put it on your coffee table, and you have these amazing prints. Like, this is this is art right here. The paper quality, the way it's laid out with the leather. Oh my gosh, I am literally obsessed. And I'm kind of sad that I have to send them out tomorrow, but I'm happy for my clients to get these and for to possibly make more in the future. So I'm going to really try to push photo albums on a lot of people because I think it's extremely important to have these photos printed. Not just on a USB somewhere, floating on Facebook or Instagram, but physically in your house somewhere. So if any of my clients are watching this or any future clients or just anybody I work with, please get your photos printed. Do it. It's totally worth it. They'll last so long. It'll be so fun to look at. It's like telling your little story real quick. 
click. So print your photos. I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of my possible new logo and banner for YouTube. It's gonna be quick, like a millisecond. Welcome back with Cooking with Marissa. This is Thursday night edition, AKA we have no more leftovers and I have to make something simple and fairly healthy. I've got my helper down here, Sarah. And we're making a whole wheat penne pasta with meat and chicken sausage. A little bit of ricotta cheese in there. The longest part is waiting for the water to boil. Sarah, tell me, what do you think? Do you like mama's cooking? That would be a no. Noodles and bread, I'm pretty sure are made from the same exact ingredient. Grain. Okay. So bread is made from grain, but differently. Noodles is made from grain, but differently. So this is made for, you made these from bread? No! Somehow it is 10.22. Should have been in bed like an hour ago. My body's aching. My back is killing me. I better not be getting sick. Just sleep in tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow. I slept in today though. I had that massive headache. It would not go away all day. You know when you're like you're sick and your body aches? I don't feel sick, my body's just achy. Like it sucks. But I'm gonna go to bed now. Are you excited for It is Friday, I think it's April 19th, and I've had myself a day already. I woke up, I did have a headache that I had yesterday, but it did go away when I ate some breakfast. And I got awful night's sleep last night. Like I didn't go to bed until like 1.30 or 2. Just feeling really weird. I think it has something to do with my blood pressure because it was low yesterday, but it's back to normal. So I went out in town today and I did a few errands. Like I exchanged the shoes that I got Nick because they were the wrong size. Uh, I even went to pincushion because I wanted to change my earrings. Like this one, I wanted to be smaller. So I can have two hoops, but I, I don't even know if I want to talk about that. It gave me so much anxiety because it gave me the wrong type of earring, too small of an earring. I wasted $30, blah, blah, blah. And then I had to make my way into Shaw's for a few things and it's still just as crazy as you saw last time. But I am home. I have eaten lunch now and I'm sitting at my desk. So I'm going to get some work done until Nick gets home because later we are going out to dinner with Bonnie because it's a birthday today. Also, look at my new shoes. I got these at Marshall's. Didn't plan on getting them, but... I thought they were so cute and they fit well. I do have to put a bandaid on the back though because they kind of dig in the back, but I think they're the cutest. Also, the shirt I'm wearing is a clearance shirt from Old Navy. It has like a little thing down there. It was only like $5 and it's an extra large because I wanted it to be big. So I'm wearing it stuff already, but... It's fine. I already wore the long sleeve turtleneck, the red one. I promise I'll do a haul of everything I got when we start packing, which I think is going to be on Sunday or Monday. So don't worry, I'll show you everything I got. When companies send you magazines full of their new clothes, I want this so bad. This one right here. This, this, this. I'm going to put it in the trash because I can't afford anything. I'm literally crying over this spilt milk right now on my brand new chair. It's gonna freaking smell like cheese later. I'm never going to eat cereal again. Jamming, mate. Get it. Get it. Woo! Santa's learning how to give you a inhaler. <laughs> you better be on the couch. I know. <laughs> Keep lifting you up all the time. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to. Yeah. Yeah, but I want to see you do it. I am. Just Good girl, Slim. Good girl, Slim. We just caught up on American Idol. Do you guys watch American Idol? I've been watching it since the first season. No. Uh, yeah, the first season. Kelly Clarkson, right? That's She was the first season? I don't know. Yeah. I've been watching it since Kelly Clarkson. I'm pretty sure that's the first season. It's even ended its series and it's come back on and I'm still watching it. I really do love the judges though. Katie, Lionel, and Richie. I think that they're... Wait. I just... <laughs> Did you see the clocks working? Yeah, because his last Katie, name is the first one. I know. Name. Lionel and Luke. There we go. They, I think they're so funny. Katie, mainly. I just love her. This is a good Lionel Luke. We did a little more planning for our trip. We bought some tickets to go somewhere while we're there. And we got our power converter. Actually, we bought three of them because we were afraid if one didn't work, we would be screwed. So we bought three. <laughs> <laughs> I might want to buy more before we go. 
It's a little extra, but better safe than sorry. <laughs> Did you know it was going to take us 12 hours to get that? Saturday and I have a wedding today so that means we went to Grumpy's for breakfast. I was just wondering who you were talking to. <laughs> we went to Grumpy's because we try to do that every before every wedding. Yeah. And this is it's, my first one that it's I'm an second. Easy way shooting. to wind down, figure out the day and Yeah, talk about what's going to happen yeah. and it, you, it, when you have a wedding you don't eat all day. Yeah, so until you get to it's, it's necessary. So you get kind of you like fill yourself you up. Go Thanks, Aaron. You, got, you already got the Gonna get in the car. I decided to get um, a few muffins for today, uh, just a snack on for Lindsay and I, because I'm working for Lindsay today. If you watched my vlogs last year, you'll know that I'm a wedding photographer. So that's what I'm talking about. We usually go out to breakfast beforehand to eat a lot of food, talk about the day. I am second shooting for Lindsay though today, so it's not my wedding, but still. Your, your first wedding is when we get back from... All right, we're gonna head home now so I can start to get ready for the wedding, because it is about an hour away. So I gotta go do that. So we're gonna head home now. I'm here and I'm about to officially start my wedding day so hopefully I am going to film throughout the night because I if like I said if you watched my vlogs before you know that weddings are unpredictable so fingers crossed I do have a dress with pockets on so this guy is gonna be in one of those pockets and hopefully I can film the day today all I did was go outside of my car to get my bags is this what it's gonna be like Phase one of the wedding is done. There is one, two, three, four, I think there's four phases. Phase one is done and we're about to get on to phase two, which is the ceremony. Didn't really feel comfortable filming just because there was a lot going on in such a little space. So maybe I have I have some stories that I might be able to put in, put in here. It's raining. I'm gonna head into the venue right now and get on with the ceremony portion. that phase four has been completed. You guys, that is my job. That is what I get to do for a living. And the fact that I got to do it with Lindsay is amazing. Lindsay was the other photographer that I was working for tonight and we are an amazing team. I love working with her. I think we vibe so well, we get along so well that anytime I get to work with her, she gets to work with me. And just anytime we are taking pictures together, it's an amazing time. So Lindsay, if you're watching this, I love you so much. I am getting ready to head home. It's raining, so I'm just kind of filming this to let you know that my day is over. Whoa, I don't know what just happened. Hold on. A little story about Lindsay and I. We actually went to college together and I remember for a portfolio show that we needed to do to graduate, her table was across the room from mine and I was so incredibly intimidated by her. Like her work is so freaking amazing that I was just like, I don't even know why I'm trying. This girl's amazing. And here we are, however many years later, and we're working together. Life is so amazing. And in just a few days, I'm going to We just played Connect Four, and I didn't realize Nick won a million times <laughs> until he put this one in and won this one. <laughs> Show him what you but won. I also won this one. <laughs> and this one. Oh my god. In this one. And the this one. No, I already said that. Oh. Oh, uh, this one. There's a lot. There's a lot. a lot. Take a look <laughs> at it. But he won so many different times that I had no clue. Tell them why you're not filming you. <laughs> I don't really. I just got out of bed. It is Sunday morning. Happy Easter. <laughs> so I'm going to need you guys to be my research team. Well, I hope <laughs> <laughs> you can't even succeed with that. <laughs> Are you here? All right. That doesn't count. I won. 
did you not know? I know, I should have been on the defense. I was on the offense. <laughs> no, I did know. I realized it after my second one. <laughs> We're all ready to go have Easter dinner. Happy Easter. At, yeah, happy Easter. At, what time is it? We're gonna get there by two o'clock, so. I never understand why they call it Christmas dinner or Easter dinner when it's in the afternoon, it's but. Brunch. It's not a brunch though, because the brunch is before we have dinner. What's that? <laughs> what? <laughs> did you do that? I didn't do that. Yes, you did. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, it's him. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Oh my god, let me read that. Happy Easter, Auntie. Love August. I'm freaking crying right now. It's <laughs> the cutest thing ever. I did see them pull up though. You did? Yeah. Did all, you say hi? I yeah. know, it's okay. Oh my god. I saw her car. I'm gonna text this to her right now. We made it home. It doesn't even seem like we left because last time I, like a second ago when you saw this, I was walking down the driveway. But now we're back in a room. We're gonna start packing. We have all the laundry to do. Dinner was fun. And then we had to go to Shaw's, but that wasn't too bad because it nobody was there because it's the holiday. So that was a little easier shopping trip this time around. We are going to start packing now. I'm super excited. And I just secured a photographer for our anniversary for some photos. So, oh yeah, I'm so excited. Photos and oh yeah. You ready to pack? Uh, no. We have a big list. Someone's petting herself on your camera. <laughs> Update on packing. Nick has been done for like an hour and a half. It took me like 10 minutes, 5 minutes maybe. And this is what I got. <laughs> Let me explain. These are the dresses I'm bringing. This is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And these are pajamas. I did the same thing. Yeah, but it took me way longer to prepare these. Yeah, but you got them by day. I just, I just said how many days, and you told me the number, and I picked that many shirts. Put it this way: if I didn't do this now, I would be so incredibly unhappy with what I brought. So I'm just like pairing up outfits so I know, like according to weather also take and where you I'm going. Less time yeah. in the morning, so yeah. that's okay. And then sometimes I might not wear what I said for that day. I might wear something else, but at least I have all nine outfits out right here, right now. Almost two hours in and I think I pretty much found out what I'm gonna bring. I think I figured out what I want packed. We just have a few packages waiting to come with clothes that I had purchased for Nick and I. So this is what the suitcase looks like. I already need to get another set of packing cubes because I need a whole nother set just to fit. Here, I'll show you. So right here are the extra clothes that I have, like a pair of pants and then some sweaters and shirts and my pajamas. This is the Nick's packing cube and then Right under there is mine. And then there's all these, the smaller packing cubes with our underwear. So that's basically what it looks like. And it's, I don't know why I've never, I didn't do packing cubes to begin with because this is zippering pretty easy, easily. I mean, mind you, we don't have our toiletries or anything in it and we still have a carry-on suitcase. I think we're doing good. I didn't think we were gonna be able to go to with one giant suitcase, but we're doing it. That clock does say 7.37. We are going no, to bed. It but says 12.37. Seven, oh, right, right, right. I was just going to show them. So we're trying to get used to time. So we're getting used to time. It is 12.38 a.m. there. So it's 7.37 or 7.38 here. So we're going to go to bed. We're going to try to get acclimated to the time so the, the jet lag isn't too bad. Wish us luck. It is Monday and we are continuing our packing. Well, Nick's at work, but I'm continuing the packing. We also have started our destination time zone, I guess. So it is 9.30 in the morning, but it's lunchtime for me. So I'm gonna eat lunch now. And the strike for stop and shop just ended. I think there's some kind of tentative agreement. I don't really know. All I know is that I don't have to go to Hyannis to get Mr. White's pellets or hay or anything he needs. I can go to stop and shop, which is seven minutes down the road and get that in a few last minutes stragglers that we need. I already said this. I, I need another packing cube. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat lunch and I'm going to head out to our local little town center and do that. Anyone else have an iMac and run into this issue where you're ready to work and then you can't? The charging port is on the bottom of the mouse. Why Apple? Why? I just went on a rampage thinking I lost my vlog camera. It was exactly where I always put it. Oh, Fun.
Anyways, we're warping into the day. I don't even know what time it is anymore. It's 12 4, uh, Masters time. And I'm watching, catching up on the Game of Thrones. And I got more packing cubes, so I'm finishing packing. And I just wanted to show you how amazing this is now that it's done. So what we got going on here is these two on the bottom are mine. Yes. But nine days in a foreign country, I don't know how to pack light. I wish there was one big one, but anyways, these are shirts and sweaters, and in here are pants, pajamas, and like cardigan things. And then this one right here is Nick's, and that one is going right in this spot. And then we have my underwear, that one's going there. Nick's underwear. That one is going there. Any kind of belts and stuff. And then Nick socks. And that's it. That's packed. I don't know how I didn't do packing cubes before because this is it. Like, it, the suitcase is closing. Everything is where it needs to be. There's no spillage. This is amazing. And I have two packing cubes left over. So I'm going to put my hair stuff in it, like straightener and curler and brush and all of that. I'm just going to put it in one so that it's in one spot too. I can't, I'm like, my mind is a little bit blown. This is crazy. <laughs> so I do know we need a new suitcase. This thing has been around. I think Nick's mom gave it to us when we went to on our honeymoon in Kauai, and it's just, this thing is battered. Oh my gosh, and don't mind the cat here. And I still have to pack the little gray one there. But we're making progress. How do you pick shoes? I cannot bring this many. Morning, it's... Tuesday. We woke up at five o'clock today. We went to bed. We went to bed. Came to talk. Went to bed a little late last night, and I mean late. It was eight o'clock. <laughs> Remember, there's a five-hour difference to where we're going. Anyways, I just made Nick breakfast. I'm about to get myself some breakfast and head in the office so I can start editing the vlog because it goes up tomorrow. And finally, tell you that we're going to. <laughs> So excited. So yeah, I'm just gonna get that done. We're pretty much done with packing now. We just have to basically live today and then finish packing tomorrow morning before heading up to Boston to catch our flight. We're almost there. Can't believe we're going tomorrow. Good afternoon. Just kidding. I'm still in Massachusetts and it's only 9.57, but it's lunchtime where I'm going. So leftover mac and cheese. I made homemade mac and cheese again last night for dinner for this week to get us through until we go. So it's time to eat lunch. I'm going to do that. I'm actually only one day away. No, two days away from finishing the vlog that's going out tomorrow to let you guys know where we're going. And it's actually really good and I'm really excited about it. So I'm almost done with that. I'm going to do my nails. I have a hair appointment later on this afternoon and we're going to finish putting everything together that we need. I'm, I'm beyond excited. <laughs> so pumped. Last day of work. Last day of work. I don't even know where to begin. It is almost five o'clock and I'm still home my hairdresser I think pretty much canceled you don't even need to know why and I can't be mad about it but I am so incredibly upset because my hair looks awful I really hope I can get it done before going and it's so stupid that I'm like almost crying over this but I haven't had my hair done since November for the reason that I'll be getting it done today before my trip I'm buried in computers right now YouTube I'm downloading uh, images to edit on Nick's laptop and I'm trying to figure out my session with my photographer <sighs> I'm just really stressed out just really stressed out right now just a few more things to add. The pants that I ordered for Nick and paid extra for shipping so we get here early won't be here until tomorrow. Um, what else? There's something else that was really bugging me. I can't remember because I was just trying to deal with the old Navy thing. Oh, the boarding. So usually we get to the airport like two hours early, but I just saw on the tickets that I printed that international flights have to be three hours early. So now I have to go ahead and change my timeline to accommodate us getting there three hours early. I'll probably be back in a second with more. All right, a few more hours have passed and Nick is home and we're finishing our packing. I don't know if I showed you guys this website that I've been using. It's called Trello. This is what it looks like and there's different like, they call them cards or something. Things to buy, things to do, pack, schedule, info. I named them, but the good thing is that you can have like little checklists on here. So I'll show you like electronics, we're like checking off all the electronics we need. So that is basically the, the the extent of what we're doing now. I am also feeling a lot better. I still haven't got my hair done. Not sure if that's happening, but Nick did say the first day we're not doing anything. So if I don't get my hair done tomorrow morning, then I can get it done in 
I don't know what to think, but either way, my hair will be done by our photo session. I just need to stop freaking out. <laughs> sure it will. <laughs> I'm gonna miss these guys. <laughs> Mr. White just chilling. <laughs> and these two, I'm gonna miss you. I miss my pretty baby. My big baby. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're going to end the vlog right here so we can finish packing in the next hour or so and then go to bed so we can kind of stay on the time zone schedule. I know it's a little intense, but I just don't want to be tired when we're there. I think that's everything we're going to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment. And until the next one, which would be the travel vlog, I'll see you then. Bye. You think I got you in it? I'm so used to paint pointing that go, at me. Go, go, yeah. So if I go up, okay. Um, should we tell them where we're going? Yep. We're going to We're going to Dublin!